Hi guys, this is John here. In today's practical session, we will look at how to perform the yaw motion for the drone. We have looked at the theory behind performing a yaw motion. So now to perform a yaw motion in a counterclockwise direction. So now first let us look at all the four motors. So I'm just increasing the RPM just a little bit. So now if you look at the motors carefully, for example, if you look at green motor number two, motor number two is rotating in a clockwise direction. Motor number one is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, as you can see. Motor number four, which is opposite to motor number two, is also rotating in a clockwise direction. And once you play around with the drone, you will actually understand that in detail. Now, let us say I want to yaw the drone or perform a yaw operation in a anti-clockwise direction. So let us see how we do the yaw motion. First, I increase all four motors to generate some lift. Now, after I generate lift, observe carefully, I will increase motor two and motor four. And you will see that the drone starts doing a yaw motion in the counterclockwise direction. And if I make all four of them equal, it stops doing that. Again, if I increase, you will see that it starts rotating in a counterclockwise motion. Because of the two motors, which are motor two and motor four, motor two and motor four, as you can see here, are rotating in a clockwise direction and hence when I increase their RPM, it starts going in a clockwise motion because of which the drone starts moving in a counterclockwise direction. Let's look at that again. So first we increase all four and the drone starts flying. Then what we do is we increase motor two and motor four. So you will see that the more the difference, the faster the rotation. And if I don't stop, the drone continues to rotate. So the minute I make all four of them equal, the drone stops yawing or stops rotating. Now this is again, as per the theory, because of the torque effect that is generated by motor two and motor four. So you see there is more torque generated and because of which the drone starts yawing. Now let me rotate this in the opposite direction which is now I want to do it clockwise. So I will increase motor one and motor three. So you will see that the drone starts yawing in the opposite direction, which is clockwise. Which is fine. So let us reset that and do that action again. So now first we increase the thrust on all four motors. Now I want to rotate the drone in a clockwise direction. So I will increase motor one and motor three. And you will see that it continues to yaw in a clockwise direction. Now the logic is the same. The reason is that because motor one and motor three are going in an anti-clockwise direction, the torque generated on the drone will be in a opposite direction which is clockwise and that is why you will see that the drone continues to yaw in a clockwise direction. So if I increase the difference, it starts rotating faster. You will see that the speed increases and if I make it equal, it will then reduce and stop. So the concept is the same. We are using a concept of differential motion. Let it collide, that's fine. So we are using a concept of differential motion where using the difference in two motors who are rotating in the same direction. So for example, to summarize, motor four and motor two, which are in green and yellow, they are rotating in a clockwise direction. When you increase the RPM compared to motor one and motor three, because of the differential motion and the torque generated, 
the drone will start yawing in an opposite direction which is counterclockwise as we saw and if I want to yaw the drone in a clockwise direction I will increase the RPM of motor 1 and motor 3 so I want you to practice this because you will need this motion in the advanced stages of your learning section so in the advanced stages of your learning section here when it comes to your level 4 and 5 you will need the yaw motion it is very important so please learn this carefully I hope this concept of the yaw motion is clear and I want you to try that using the simulator I hope this lecture was clear for you guys I'll see you in the next section thank you